What's up and good evening guys. Welcome back to another video. Chris, say hi. Another video? Another video. One day? Two videos, one day. Two girls, one video. Alrighty y'all, so, you guys know, Rhino loves strobe lights, LEDs, all kinds of stuff. I mean, you've seen it on my trucks. You've seen it on both of my trailers now. The dump trailer and the deck over have strobe lights. Well, the apple don't fall far from the tree. Old Papa Rhino loves him some LEDs and some strobe lights as well. And if you hearken way back to the days when he had his Kodiak, actually right before he had to sell his Kodiak, he had just put a ton of strobe lights on from Sergio over at IEP-USA.com. Um, Sergio did a giant install on that truck, redid all the LED lighting, all the strobes, and made that thing super cool. And then unfortunately, California's like, yeah, we won't let you register it here anymore. So, now that Papa Rhino's back in the 450, he has been dying to get himself some new crazy strobe set up on this thing. And well, Sergio has just completed it. Don't mind the truck is dirty. I brought it over to Sergio dirty. We just haven't had time to wash this thing since we gave it back to Papa Rhino. And he's been daily driving it um, as his work truck. And so, yeah, she's, she's kind of dirty right now. So, we've got our Captain Sergio over here. Wait for Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, Sergio had a run in with a pit bull. Yeah. And just one eye left. One eye left. I do have the board, but you still charge the same. <laughs> That's, That's actually not what happened. That's actually not what happened. Uh, Sergio, go, GoFundMe.com, pay for Sergio's medical bills. <laughs> uh, he's got two kids, wife at home, can't work. Yeah. Even with even with being down an eye, Sergio's still working. Still working. Still working. We have some work for it. So. There you go. That's it. That's it. All right. So I'm gonna give you a walk around of this thing with the lights off because it's gonna be really hard to show when the lights are on because they are crazy freaking bright. Uh, we should probably shut the truck off right now. We got the truck running because we've been playing with these lights for a while. Are you practicing fighting Chris or what? Yeah, I'm trying to practice my. I need to recalibrate my. Oh, your depth perception. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair. Fair. Now, I know in the past I haven't been as good as I should be about giving you guys part numbers and itemizing and all that. Well, stay tuned towards the end of this video. We've got it all laid out right there. Sergio's gonna kind of give you a walkthrough of every part that we used on this thing. Um, but for now, let's do a walk around with all the lights off. Well, so one of the things I like is I like to be kind of stealthy. I don't like seeing a bunch of crap bolted on, um, you know, surface mounted or anything like that. We like stuff hidden. So if you're looking at this grill right now, I don't know how it looks on camera, but even in person, like you can kind of see the lights in person. I'm sure it's harder on camera, but uh, we've got a bunch of lights in the grill. We've got them up there. We've got them down there. We've got them over there and we've got them right there. I know it looks like eight lights. I mean, it kind of is eight lights, but those come as pairs, right, Sergio? Yeah, well, they sell it like individually, like super small modules, or they start to sell it also as a stick light. So they have a single one, dual, four, six, up to eight. So Chris has what? Doesn't he have like a four he or six? Eight, right? He's got an eight? You got an eight? Got Dang, an eight. big guy, big, big guy over big there. Big. Do you like them bigger? Uh, sure. Okay, so up front here, we are running four which again, we'll give you part numbers and everything, yeah. uh, but just quick rundown. What are those, the Phoenix what? 200s. Phoenix 200s, okay. Yeah, they go 100, 200, 400, 6, and 800. So gotcha. Basically, it's how many modules you have. Right? Okay, so there's our four Phoenix 200s in there, and then we've got some other cool little, little trick stuff up front here that we'll talk about in a second, but let's go to the back, and we've got some stuff on the sides, and you know, there's, there's all kinds of little, little tricks on this thing. Now again, in the rear, I don't want to see a bunch of stuff bolted on, service mounted onto the bumper, so, we went in this little gap right here between the bumper and the tailgate. And believe it or not, you can actually clear. You can see these lights stick out about, what'd you call that, three quarters or it's an inch? It's a full inch, okay. So these lights stick out about a full inch. I know it's gonna be hard to kind of see on camera there. But we did a lot of testing and figured out that they can be mounted here and here and still not hit when you open the tailgate on this bottom edge right here, which we can, uh, we'll demonstrate there. Yeah, right? So you still have clearance. I don't know if you guys can see there. Like, it, it's it's not a lot. It's probably about... Barely, like... <laughs> oh, over here. You're like, you're like an eighth right there. So, very, very tight. However, as they say, clearance is clearance. So, in your truck, because it's a plan one, you have more space, but check your truck first. Test it without the lights, just the frame, and be careful. Go slow. In your truck, you were lucky enough that you can fit all the way from here up to here. Right. But if you think in the truck that you, if they fit here, they will fit here, it's not true because you have a curve oh, yeah, lights on, on your too. door. When it goes down, it's, it gets lower in the middle part. So be careful with that. Gotcha. And then, besides that, what you don't see are the flashers. So we made a lot of OEM lights to make them flash. 
they'll still work as they should and they will flash whenever you switch the pan the, the uh, turn on the switch so we'll show you how sergio did that in a second here but these are what are these 100 series no that's the surface mounts the light sticks are 100 uh, well, light sticks are 100 it's 200 that's the only surface, surface mount. mount that's a am no that's a no. work light <laughs> i'm not the part number guy okay there's two they look the same, but they have two versions. Phoenix have the single color modules and the quad color modules. Okay. So they're calling it Fusion S for Fusion Single, and the other ones are called quads. So the only difference is the other ones, you only can get one color of the module, and yet quads, you can get all four colors. So obviously, you'll, you'll see the colors in a second on these things. Uh, but for work style lights, you, you know, you can get away with just amber, which if you want to go the single color, you can go single color. You can do just white. We want white and amber alternating it. To me, it looks cooler. It's just, it breaks it up a little bit. Plus you can use them as uh, work lights too. So that's a plus for the quads that yeah. you can make them go steady on it. So let's go ahead and turn, let's, let's turn the rears on Sergio. Right. Well here, well, let's talk about the controller as well. This is important. You guys have probably seen this controller. We've used it on multiple vehicles at this point. I have it, Chris has it, the Kodiak has it, and now the 450 has it. So Sergio, go, go ahead, man. All right, so this is the controller. You have the on-off switch, the PA, so in case you want to talk outside. Right. And sound buttons, and then six regular switches. So for this one, we only needed four. For the front, the white steady on, front flashing, rear steady on, and flash. So, so if you want to use the front lights as actual like work lights. lights to see or work lights, you just hit the top button, same with the rear, or if you're backing up and you want just full time lights on in the rear, you hit that. Yep. Or somebody's tailgating you a little too close. Mm, you hit true. that and then yeah. you, you blind them. <laughs> so let's go with oh, the turn on, on. Rear. rear lights. And then front lights. Front lights on, okay. Flashing, so all flashing. So super simple with that controller and then you see we still have two extra inputs if we ever want to change that. Now here's what the rear looks like. The rear looks freaking sick. And I know strobe lights don't ever flash as quickly in, on camera as they do in person because of the frame rate of the camera. However, these things are moving pretty quick. You can see we've got the factory turn signal here, the factory reverse light, both alternating, which I love alternating, both alternating and doing all kinds of cool stuff. And then we've got the Phoenix lights up underneath right here. And again, alternating plus also doing um, alternating side to side and alternating white and amber, which I love. But this is like, look at Chris getting lit up right now. It is, it's not that dark out right now. And these things are freaking bright. And it doesn't help that they're like right at eye level with how big the truck is, but it looks super, super sick and super clean. Again, and we're going for clean here, not a bunch of gaudy crap just bolted on. Okay. Standard occurrence in the alleyway. Okay, look at this little, this little dually. <laughs> I work on both. Halloween and pirate. <laughs> it's like Halloween time. They should have guys like you working the Chick fil A drive through. That's just That's rude. Not Come on. What's up, puppy? Ladies and gentlemen, meet Memphis. This is uh, Snow's dog. Hello, hello, hello. We haven't done steady on. All right. So hit the button for steady on. So now we've got steady on in the rear. And all it is is just off that same controller, you just hit the top button, kicks it on as steady on. These are gonna be good as reverse lights again, or tailgating lights or work lights, because I think it'll even still shine out good if you have the tailgate down. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe it completely blocks it. <laughs> we didn't really test that, but yeah, tailgate up, everything looks great. Now let's go to the front. The front's where things get pretty wild. So the front's super, super cool. What's up, what's up puppy, hi puppy. So now you guys can see all the alternating inside of there, but the coolest thing is that Sergio got the daytime running lights as well as the fog lights down here to all strobe and alternate and do a bunch of stuff. So instead of just having, you know, something going on there, uh, you get to have strobes, basically the full width of the front of the truck without having to drill into your headlights, tap yeah. in your headlights or anything weird going on there to where you're going to compromise your headlights, even though these have already been pulled apart and painted, but you don't want big old holes in the back, like yeah, the old ways of doing things, no, right? That was the old ways. Uh, and it was called the hideaways, right? We had to what, make a one inch hole, put it in there, make sure it's completely sealed because now you get moisture inside. Yeah. So nowadays with LEDs, you no longer can do that, even with the police car. So this is the alternate uh, option which you get to flash the day at running lights. They're pretty bright. And we went to the, because you have two intensities, one for daytime and one for nighttime. We use the daytime and they're, they're super bright, so. Nice, nice. Should be good. All right, give a steady on on the front here. 
So now Sergio switches steady on and this is freaking bright. You've got, jeez, basically eight pods of white LEDs staring you down in the face. Yeah. In your case, you don't have enough space. So we could go with the eight, eight module section light stick, but you don't have enough space inside. So that's why we went with the 200s. All right, so let's show them behind the seat here. This is where Sergio mounted the controller module and everything. So basically you have the interface that you see, which is, God, I can't even see right now. I'm just seeing a bunch of, a bunch of lights, but this, the thing that you see up by the drivers, which is the handheld remote, and then everything hooks up back here. So back beyond the seat right here, this is where Sergio hooked everything up. So uh, hold on, hold on, right there. So that's the controller that is um, basically all the inputs plug into, and then it translates to the little handheld controller. This is the flasher that you're using to flash the factory lights, right, Sergio? Okay, so there's another one of these up under the hood that controls the front lights. So basically what these flashers are is you can essentially put any light into them um, and flash from there. It's what we did on my trailer as well, and we got all the factory lights on my trailer to flash. As long as they're 12 volt lights, you can make a flash with those flashers. Nice. So the setup turned out super sick. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about this. So we even got the, uh, the little lights here on the dually fenders to flash, which is cool. So again, it just ties everything in and makes it look super, super clean um, without having to add stuff. This is like the best option to do things. Now, it's not the cheapest because you basically have to go tap the factory harness at a bunch of different points to then rewire it back to the flasher. Um, but that's, that's Sergio's world, that's not Ryan's world, so I'm not even gonna try to explain that to you guys. All right, Sergio, give us a little walkthrough of all the parts that were used here. Okay. Um, and I will have a list in this video at some point, uh, I'll make it probably a list of the Amazon, uh, Sergio's Amazon. This is all the components that we have yeah. used in this thing. Yeah, obviously, and with, let's take this out quickly. This is a low voltage. I'll talk a lot about those. Yeah, low voltage use, disconnect. Whenever you are straight to the battery, use that. If not, then you're running the risk of drop, uh, bringing your battery. This is the flasher. Uh, you need, we needed one for the front, one for the rear. Um, I did some tricks to make it work with a single flasher for the front and a single flasher for the back. But basically you have to use one for every light function, um, how to say, different func uh, functional light. For example, turn signals, you can you have to use one flasher. Uh, fog lights, another flasher. Unless you want to get into electrical and have to use diodes, relays, and all of that stuff, just make sure you use just one for every different function light. Okay. Right? This is what you have in the grill. It's a two sections stick. They come in one section, two section, up to eight. And even for the, uh, I didn't talk about that, but they're called rock panels. They can be on the side, on side to side. They're the longest one. They're still eight, eight sections, but they have a small yeah, gap in between. in between. Yeah. Okay. This is the surface mounts. It's the same light, the same thing. It's just built in the light stick or for surface mounts on, on a more slim. So these are what we're running underneath the tailgate. Correct. Four of those, four of those. This is your controller. Again, six buttons, tones, and this is the relay box, right? Pretty simple. Each, each switch has one output, power ground, and if you want the PA, you need to connect the speaker to it. And you get a bunch of labels. So and basically you can put little stickers on here. I mean, there's. Yeah. Just There's about everything you can think of. Winch, um, front flood, rear, amber wire. Yeah, so even if you're not doing like this type of setup, you want like roof lights or anything like that, it's actually a really cool yeah. controller setup. Like I said, I have this in my gray OBS. Um, I've got the, the dash mount one, but same concept in my uh, single cab OBS. Correct. Chris is running this in his truck, and then obviously now the 450's yeah, running this. The only this. difference between this one and the 4200 Mini yeah. is that this has the tones. For, for PA or siren tones. Um, so yeah, that's basically all you have. Doesn't look that much, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> well, obviously the, like this part of it is like, you can buy the parts all day long. It's the amount of time and money to get the wiring done, to trace back, especially when you're trying to do what we did, which was go and make all the factory lights drove. I mean, you basically had to tap each one, run it, to here to a flash yeah. controller, but then you had to alternate sides, right, to yeah, make it use diet so they, uh, it doesn't get feedback to the to the original lights. And whenever you turn on the backup light, it will override the the flashing. So it's a lot of things that you have to be careful with. That's why I don't do that. That's why Sergio <laughs> over at IEP does all of my my wiring and my lighting because I'm I'm too confused to to even mess with this. Sergio's actually an electrical engineer, if you guys did not know. And instead of becoming a multi-millionaire uh, lighting inventor. 
he decided he wanted to do installs. <laughs> Yeah, you can see it. And I'm not even, I'm not like, I don't want to. I'm not what trying to downplay what Sergio to does. Is work for another company. I want yeah. To have my own company. Listen, I respect the fact of any man that's willing to go work with his hands, especially when he doesn't have to. Like, he's got the, the education, the college education, where he can go sit behind a desk yeah, and, and draw like, stuff all day long. But he gets more in a certain point. Yeah. So Sergio opted to not only have way better of an understanding of this stuff than most installers, but he can design stuff up for you. I mean, he does a lot of work designing stuff for the government, um, like whole packages and all kinds of cool stuff. And then he'll also do your installs. I mean, he's done our installs, a lot of friends installs, a lot of customer installs. If you want this done to your truck, if you want any of the things he's done to my trailer, Sergio can get it installed for you. Definitely. Buy it through my Amazon link though, so you know, I get a little bit of a little <laughs> cut off the top. But then, you know, have Sergio do it. Uh, Sergio's what, IEP-USA.com. For some reason, a lot of you guys couldn't find that last time. I, I literally say it like 50 times in every video. Really? Uh, now it's getting a little bit darker. Let me give you guys a quick walk around. And I know I'm making this video super, super quick. Sergio has to go, but I wanted Sergio to explain the setup um, instead of me trying to explain it. But it turned out so freaking killer. Yeah, I like it a lot, man. Great work, Sergio. Thank you, thank you. Papa Rano's gonna be very happy. He finally gets Hopefully, his strobe lights on his truck. Hopefully. Or he's gonna be back and be like, "Hey, Sergio, we need to put more." <laughs> I had to, I had to tone Pavarano down a yeah, little bit. You want to go out there? Right he there. wanted, yeah, there. He wanted like twenty grand worth of lights on this thing. We're like, like the, the Kodiak was pretty. The Kodiak was, was pretty gnarly. Cool. So again, no, this was a super quick video, but with that, we're gonna wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, okay, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out WorkForitPayroll.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Snow, one last time for the channel. We didn't even talk about. <laughs> Guys, Snow's leaving us. Oh, jeez, I can't even end the video. Snow's leaving us. I know. Just go already. Just go. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, leaving. When's this video coming out? Maybe tomorrow. Let's just keep it live. All right. Yeah, yeah. let's just keep it like. So, so it's coming out on Thursday. Navy's moving me on Friday. And I'm out of here back to the Midwest on Wednesday. Or so we're dealing with GoPro battery issues here. <laughs> Take so, three. So Snow is a free man. Yeah, officially free. Whoa. Officially a free man. Yeah, free from the government. As Got you can out. see from this glorious beard he's been growing. Uh, yeah, I was actually growing up when I was still active. Shh, nobody knows it. Well, no, you, you just wear the fuck, you just wear the COVID mask. All right, take 14, now we're on the iPhones. No, no, the cameras don't want you to leave, buddy. No, they don't. It, it, I feel bad because I haven't been down here in, in months. It's, I've been so busy, but uh... Allegedly, look at this, look at this guy. Your, your, your boy over there is laughing. Hey, stay still. <laughs> Why'd you bring him? We wanted to say bye to you in peace. Diesel's 650 a gallon. He's like, we can take my dually that gets eight miles a gallon. I'm like, better than my truck. There you go. Well, he leaves the keys in it too. So if anybody sees his truck, just feel free to take it for a spin. He leaves the keys hanging in the door there. All right, Snow. So well, let's officially say goodbye to everybody on the channel. Bye, guys. It's been real. It's been fun. That was the least sincere bye I've ever heard. I'm thinking about actually starting one. You know, with trucking uh, uh -oh. and moving heavy equipment, stuff like that. Okay. Watch out, James. I'm coming for you. <laughs> well, Snow starts up a YouTube channel. I will let you guys know. We will plug it somewhere, you know, in the future if that happens. I think he's going to quickly realize YouTubing sucks. Yeah. But, but I hope he does it. Yeah. <laughs> See some cool shit in Iowa. There you go. All right, buddy. Like, just end the video. Last time. What do you want me to say? How do we end the videos? All right. With that being said, roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.